Good Friday morning, everyone. I hope everyone has something to drink. Coffee, tea, water. This is coffee. And let's talk, shall we? So the weekend is coming up, and following that is Thanksgiving week and then Thanksgiving Day. And <clears throat> I wanted to um, kind of just let you all know that it's okay if you eat what you want just as long as you do it in in moderation you know make the right choices for your situation but certainly don't not eat what you want you know like for example have like a tablespoon a literal tablespoon of what you want I know it's not much but if you're afraid you're gonna go over the deep end and you're gonna just gorge yourself on something it's better to have a spoon of something as opposed to nothing at all because you're setting yourself up for late night snacking or binge eating um, that's my little <laughs> one minute <laughs> tip for Thanksgiving um, this year I am going to my dad's for Thanksgiving like I did last year and I'm cooking everything um, <clears throat> with the exception of a couple of desserts which my um, my stepmother is making but I'm making the pumpkin pie from scratch, the whipped cream from scratch, the you you name it, it's going to be from scratch for me. Uh, and we're going to have family over and enjoy each other's company and the food that I make. And I'm already stuffed just thinking about it. Uh, we usually, I usually make, when I'm at my dad's, uh, a turkey and a ham because there's some of those that don't like turkey. I know. What? My turkey always comes out moist, um, and it's because I, I think, I don't know why it does, it just, it does for me, <laughs> but I think it's because I fill the cavity with, you know, an apple, an orange, an onion, and celery, um, just to kind of give it moisture, and then you baste it throughout, like every um, 15 to 30 minutes you'll baste it, so you are constantly basting the turkey but it does come out really really good really moist but yeah so <clears throat> thinking about that and by the way it's about five in the morning <laughs> um, I'm, I'm up for work what can I say uh, I, I'm just I'm stuffed thinking about Thanksgiving um, <clears throat> anyhow um, how are you doing? What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Are you going to go to someone's house? Are you going to make something special? Uh, what are you doing? This month has been full of birthdays. First, my nephew Rob. And Rob, if you watched my videos, hi and happy belated birthday. <clears throat> Excuse me, my beautiful niece Cherie. Cherie, happy birthday, sweetheart. I know I already said it on your birthday, but I love you very much. And I hope that you had a wonderful day. Uh, and then I have my son, my oldest. He is turning, bear with me, 29. Ooh, man, you're old. <laughs> He's turning 29 on Sunday on the 23rd. So I'm taking him out to dinner tonight uh, because this weekend's going to be very busy for me. And I won't have a chance to. And then Monday is my husband's birthday. Oh my gosh ridiculous um, <clears throat> excuse me like I said a lot of birthdays so there you go um, a lot of celebrating this month so let's move on to Christmas shall we has anyone yet gotten into the Christmas spirit we have no Christmas cards yet which I know I think the appropriate thing that everybody usually does is wait till Thanksgiving is has passed and you know then you can settle in and okay let's do Christmas cards uh, I'm just I don't know why but aside from the ornaments that I've already shown you that we bought I'm gonna show you again um, and then the cute little ornament that my friend Carolyn sent me <clears throat> with my name on it because I complained in one of my videos that, um, you know, couldn't find any any uh, ornaments with my name on it. And by the way, I found these in Michael's too, Carolyn, and I can't find my husband's name, Gary. What the heck? 
Um, I'm going to keep looking though because I'm one of those cheesy ones that want matching ones. I may just buy one that's plain and then just put his name on it. It's probably what I'll wind up doing. But aside from, like I said, the ornaments, um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's all around, you know, America or if it's just me or what, but I'm just not into, um, uh, into Christmas at all this year. Usually I'm not anyways, but I found that the older that I get, the less important the material aspects and, and everything that consumers, that people in general have done to Christmas, it just makes me less and less joy uh, joyous for Christmas. You know what I mean? And I, it's just, I don't know. I remember when I was growing up, <clears throat> you always wanted the... Um, you know, how many gifts am I going to get kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, how many gifts does Santa leave me under the tree? And then when you, if you're like me, you get older and you're like, you know, I don't really need anything, you know? Um, if, you get, if you get me one gift, that's fine. If you get me nothing, that's fine too, you know? I have your company for Christmas. I don't know, I'm just bah humbug, man, I tell you. Um... I suggested, okay, last year we started, I think it was the first um, time we've ever done this. I really don't know. I've been there three years now. But last year was the first time we had a company-wide um, decorate your department for Christmas contest. And last year, the advertising department, which they're a huge department, and it seems like they always win everything um, all the time. Uh, they did a really cute Christmas um like a village type thing where you see, you go through and you see Santa. It's, it was very, very movie themed, you know, like they had the Grinch, they had, um, I, I want to say they had a Christmas story, you know, like you'll shoot your eye out, you know what I mean? You know, the little boy who wanted the rifle. And then uh, they had Christmas vacation. It was very, very festive. Not going to lie, it made me tear up, made me, made me want to cry. And I think I did kind of wipe a tear here and there, but, um, so this year, I, I mentioned to someone, a coworker in my office, I said, you know, we should do um, Christmas's, uh, what is that, a Christmas carol, you know, Ghosts of Christmas, Past, Present, and Future, except for, and anybody in advertising that watches this video, please don't steal my idea in case we do do it. But instead of um, ghosts, use publishers, publishers of Past, Present, and Future, you know, and have it like a, a holiday theme. I don't know how we would pull that off, honestly, but it's a good idea in my in my opinion. Real quickly, because I don't want to go to 10 minutes, uh, I have a tendency to talk and talk, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Um, I have gotten messages, um, private messages sent to me via my um, my website, lifeandcookingwithlillian.weebly.com. Uh, and one in particular was about the biscuits, my biscuits that I, I have a video of and um, how it reminded her of family and uh, I just really thank you from the bottom of my heart for the wonderful, wonderful messages. Um, although I don't cook really fatty like that anymore on special occasions like Thanksgiving and Christmas I do. Um, you know, if you it doesn't matter if you all want me to make something and you don't know how to make it or you're unsure of the steps, please let me know. I would be more than happy, fatty or not, to make it. You know, do whatever whatever you want me to do, I will do. So, I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. I love you all so much. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and just hit that subscribe button wherever I decide to put it. I love you guys so much. And until next week, love you.